Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's talk spring wear outfits and uh, cause you know, it's coming up right around the corner and although this weekend my area is set to get like 10 to 20 inches of snow, so that's nice, but spring is coming up soon. And you can just kind of tell it's kind of like in the air, you know, when you go, you walk outside, the birds are chirping and all that stuff. Well, guess what? It's time for the spring fits. So in this video, I'm going to go over a basic spring outfit structure filtered through my personal style, of course. And then I'm gonna show uh, several examples of spring outfits, both tech wear and kind of street wear and minimal fits. And then just show some items that I've been wearing a lot and I think fit really well in with springtime. So, that sound good? I hope so, because that's what we're doing. Because it's my video. <laughs> So spring is a favorite season of mine because of the flexibility you get when creating different outfits. And what I mean is sometimes in winter it can be so consistently cold that you kind of always have to layer your same couple of heavy coats over your outfit. And it can feel like no matter what you do, every outfit you put together, you still kind of have to layer a huge coat over it just to keep warm. And it's so much worse with summer in my opinion because a lot of times you're limited to just wearing like a t-shirt you know just gonna get so hot uh like where i live uh it gets like anywhere from 85 to 90 degrees fahrenheit for about a solid two months you know and that can just get pretty old especially when you're trying to like experiment and try it on different cool outfits and it's just like well t-shirt i can change out the color of the t-shirt the texture of the t-shirt and the fit of the t-shirt but it's still a t-shirt so summer fits, that will be for another video coming up in a couple months, I would say. However, springtime fits are perfect because it's that perfect like transitional happy medium where you can still wear your favorite pieces from winter, but you can start shedding some layers and incorporating some of your favorite aspects of summer style. So basically in springtime and I guess autumn too. So in spring, you can combine the best of your wardrobe from colder months and warmer months and combine them into some really cool outfits because you can start shedding some layers but you can still comfortably layer like it's not too warm where you can't throw on a light jacket so the way i see it let's just say your favorite winter piece is a insulated jacket okay let's just take for example my acronym j68 or even my alpha industries like ma1 bomber most times during winter, I'm layering multiple layers underneath that. So for example, I would be wearing a hoodie underneath it plus a insulated kind of thermal base layer underneath that hoodie as well. And during the colder months, that just kind of becomes my kind of uniform fit, which again, there's nothing wrong with having a uniform fit for different seasons. And then again, like dreaded summer is coming up where you can just kind of like, oh, uh, t-shirt, I'm wearing a t-shirt guys. But in spring, if you still wanna wear your favorite insulated jacket, all you have to do is just wear a kind of light t-shirt underneath it. And you can extend wearing your favorite winter piece out into the warmer months. Basically, there is a very rough, very, very rough formula I use for springtime fits. And this little formula can be used across like literally any style out there. But really roughly speaking, you can kind of wear whatever your you know, favorite pants are. And the same goes with shoes as well, because again, it's not so hot out where you can't wear winter shoes or like waterproof boots or anything. In springtime, whatever is your favorite bottoms and shoe combo, go for it. Now for tops, generally speaking, and again, this is very oversimplified, but there's kind of like two different ways I can go with styling the top part of the outfit. A, if I'm feeling like wearing a lightweight jacket, I can just layer a nice simple hoodie or crew neck or sweater underneath it just even like kind of what i'm wearing right now you know but if i want to wear one of my favorite insulated jackets into springtime again like the j68 or like a bomber jacket or something i'll just be wearing a standard t-shirt or like kind of like a breathable performance based fabric t-shirt i mean that that whole like formula might be extremely obvious and simple but um there you go all right, now I'm gonna show you guys six springtime outfits, three of them being which kind of more techy, and then the other three are non-tech wear, like uh, a couple of streetwear ones, and then one kind of minimal fit, 
I think it's how, I think that's that style minimal. Anyways, uh, starting with maybe my favorite fit of the whole bunch, and actually maybe a favorite fit in recent memory, but it's this one right here. And so I'm gonna just talk through the different pieces of the outfit, but also kind of like my thought process in creating this outfit for springtime. So starting at the top, let's just go ahead and, I, I just wanna talk about this bucket hat here because I think it's a really nice pickup, uh, especially for the money. So my buddy got me this for Christmas actually, and he got it for kind of like the spring summer fits because you know, it's a bucket hat, helps keep the sun off and everything, but it's a really nice kind of wearable silhouette here. It's much more uh, wearable than let's say boonie hat, especially for kind of city urban wear. And it also has a DWR coating on it as well. So uh, helps repel water, which is kind of funny if you think about it, cause it kind of looks like a mini umbrella for your head, but I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, but you gotta check this out, right? Right? Let's let's just say you rock in the you rock in like a bucket hat, right? But you want to return to tradition. Boom. Pop the back, you got a fedora, fam. Milady, can I hold the door open for you? Can I slay the dragon for you? What other hat can do this? Dude, I wish I, <laughs> I used to have a katana for like decoration and then I gave it to my friend. I wish right now I had it with me because it would be perfect for the fit. Uh, the close thing, I, I mean, I got, I got comic books. That's like the, that's like the closest thing I got to the fedora vibe and, and action figures. So maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should just really start wearing like this unironically. But anyways, uh, super nice pickup. It's kind of like one size fits all. I don't think it's like terribly expensive. I don't, it's this one here. And I think they also have in like a nice like kind of olive green, but I would recommend going black just for the most like wearability in my opinion. Uh, so anyways, back to the fit. Uh, so I got the bucket hat on top and then as kind of like the base layer, I have this Uniqlo U uh, crew neck and it's, you guys have already seen this in my Uniqlo video, but uh, it's a nice French terry cloth fabric, so it's not like too insulated, it's not like super warm, uh, but it is gonna provide a little bit of warmth in those transitional periods, or if you know, you're know you wearing it on like a really cool, kind of rainy summer day. And I absolutely love the cut of these, and it's a really nice color as well. So anyways, rocking that. And then on top of that, have this Arcteryx A to B commuter jacket. It's kind of like a blazer, but it's a three layer Gore-Tex, uh, so, you know, you know, windproof, waterproof, uh, and breathable. I should actually probably start wearing this Arcteryx jacket more. I got it off of Grailed, like, last, late last summer. And uh, I've actually been starting to wear it a lot more. I've been warming up to this color. But anyways, uh, super cool jacket. And then for bottoms, I am just wearing my 511 Tactical Traverse cargo pants that I tapered. You guys have seen these in so many different videos and so many different fit picks, but uh, really nice fabric, DWR coating on it, four-way stretch, comfortable, functional, durable, the whole nine yards. Uh, but then also for shoes, just wearing the Danner Tachyons. Um, again, very comfortable, kind of daily beater boot. Um, looks really good, in my opinion. And then just have my Adidas Y3 Ultra Tech backpack on. So when creating this outfit, I was thinking like, okay, boom, let's 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 envision you enjoying kind of a nice warmer spring day, right? Oh, it's sunny. You rock in the bucket hat, keep the sun off you. You have the crew neck, you know, keep you a little bit warm. You know, it's it's a little bit chilly out. You know, it's kind of like a cooler spring day, right? You wearing the crew neck, and then your your favorite cargos and your favorite boots, but. Let's say, oh no, a little rainstorm's coming in, or oh no, it's getting a little bit chilly out, a little bit windy, boom, no problem. You take out the shell jacket, game changing. Cause all of a sudden now, waterproof, windproof, adds a little bit of warmth maybe, you know, from a little bit of air from escaping. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's really like the concept behind that fit. Um, I know that's, I I'm, I'm oversimplified, but there you go. There's the first fit. I really like it. All right, moving on to the second fit. Now this one is more of the kind of streetwear, kind of minimal style. 
I really like it. Uh, it's, anyway, it's this one right here, but just talking through the fit again, I'm wearing one of those Uniqlo U uh, crew necks. This one is from last season, but it's really nice lavender color. Still that really nice cut to it. It's a nice uh, springtime color in my opinion. Uh, I just really love these uh, crew necks. I think they have one on their website now, but it's more of like a bright purple. So rocking this and then over that, crew neck. I do have this uh, vintage polo jacket. I think it's a perfect fit for my body. And I really love the tone of the navy on it. And it has some nice patina throughout it and some nice wear marks. Um, this was actually my uh, grandfather's. Uh, so it's really dear to me. But um, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this forever. But it's also a really nice jacket too. So yeah, I have that going. And then for bottoms and shoes, um, again, you, if you follow me for a long time, you're probably not shocked by this, but uh, Uniqlo U regular fit denim. Uh, they have these pretty much same ones still available, uh, but it's not in this really nice kind of washed out gray. Um, it's more of just a straight black, but I absolutely love the fit of these. And then I'm just wearing uh, Nike blazers with the cream swoosh. Love these shoes. I actually wear these a lot during the warmer months. Uh, you know, so spring, summer, early fall, uh, I was wearing blazers a lot last year. Yeah, really simple outfit, but just talking through again, kind of the concept, it's very similar to the first one where it's like, oh, you have a, you know, a nice simple crew neck, you enjoy it and I say, oh, it's a little bit chilly out. Maybe the sun goes down or you, some clouds roll in. Boom, throw on the light jacket. All right. For the next fit, no one should be shocked when I pull this out, but uh, it's this fit here and just on top, I'm, Rocking my acronym J68PL. I love this jacket so much, but I'm rocking this and then just a simple uh, brown Uniqlo, I think it's a Supima cotton t-shirt underneath it. So it's a really nice uh, touch to the fabric. And again, since the jacket is insulated, I just have a simple t-shirt underneath it. And then for pants, I'm just wearing my favorite uh, Often Levy Amez 2s and dry skin. These are my most worn pants by far for sure. Um, so I just have those. And then since it's springtime and I don't really have to worry about it being too hot out, I'm just wearing my 11 by BBS Salomons that are Gore-Tex. Um, these might be a little bit too kind of heavy duty for summertime in terms of like breathability and everything. I mean, Gore-Tex is breathable, but it's not like as breathable as like mesh. So yeah, that's the fit there. But again, just like kind of the idea behind it was like, oh, I want to wear my insulated jacket. Okay, cool. Just wear a t-shirt underneath it and then whatever pants. Boom. If it you know gets a little bit warm, just take the jacket, sling it across your chest, put it in a bag, hang it up, you know. Do your thing. All right, for the next fit, this is something different for me. I usually don't wear this style and this is kind of like the SLP kind of vibe to a fit. Uh, but just on top, I'm wearing this kind of crew neck uh, sweater. This is from Carolina Herrera. She's some designer. Uh, she usually does like women's wear, but um, the one time I went to France, I saw a shop of hers and I saw this on the mannequin and I was like, bro, that's lit, dude, I like this. So I have this on top, but Uniqlo actually has like a sweater that's very similar weight and feel to it and fit as well. So you can easily swap this out for that. And then I'm just wearing some Uniqlo skinny fit jeans. Uh, I've had these since 2017, so they're getting some nice patina, some nice natural wear on these. Um, it's a really nice kind of skinny fit to them. And then just for shoes, I'm just wearing, since I'm kind of going for that SLP vibe, um, some Chelsea boots. These are from Thursday Boots. So again, very simple fit, uh, but I think it worked, works really well for springtime. If you're not feeling the boots, you can go ahead and just throw on some basic sneakers to it. But again, talking through kind of like the warmth of different pieces for springtime, you may or may not want to put a t-shirt underneath that. And then again, just jeans. And then since it's not super hot out, uh, leather boots don't really matter uh, in terms of warmth or breathability. So go ahead and go for it. So. There's that fit. Returning for the last techie fit of the video, uh, it's this one right here. And again, wearing the 11 by BBS Salomons, a Mez 2, uh, like you saw before. Uh, but, and then on top, as a crew neck, I'm just wearing this Uniqlo U crew neck one. Again, this is like the third fit of this video I'm using this, but 
Again, I really love the cut of it. That's why I have it in four different colors. And I actually think this fit itself looks really good. Kind of like the all black uh, crew neck uh, with like the backpack and everything. I don't know, I just think it looks cool, but again, kind of echoing the other spring outfits, like boom, what if it gets a little bit cold out? Well, no problem because just go ahead and throw on a lightweight jacket. This is the Rosen X Minerva overshirt. And the material on it, it's actually not too different from dry skin. It does have kind of like a nice stretch to it. Um, it does add a little bit of mild insulation, uh, but it does a really good job of blocking the wind and it does have a slight water resistance to it as well. Uh, but I just think this is a really cool wearable techie fit. It's different, but it's not like so different where it's like you look a little bit weird. Like you can still blend in to most crowds, I would say, but yeah. I think I saved the absolute worst fit for last, but it's this one here. And this is, I, I just kind of experimented with this one. I thought it may be kind of cool. I really like the tones of this fit, but uh, just talking through it, uh, I have this sun bleach Gildan t-shirt, which I need to do a video on how to sun bleach a garment like this. Uh, nice tone to this t-shirt. And then uh, one of my favorite Pendleton cardigans. Uh, again, it's a really nice color to it. Um, acts as a nice kind of lightweight jacket or insulating piece. And then I'm um, rocking the Uniqlo U uh, shorts in kind of like the dark gray green. Uh, and then I'm just wearing some really old beat up Vans old schools. I'm not really sure if this fits works or not, um, but I wanted to incorporate a fit with shorts and I didn't want to just throw on a hoodie or a crew neck because I thought that might be a little bit boring and kind of, especially with all the other crew necks I've worn in this video. Mm. But uh, I don't I don't mind it. I think for like a lazy, cozy, casual springtime fit, this isn't too bad, but um, I definitely think it's the weakest fit out of like the video for sure. But let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. I'm curious. So I'm gonna go ahead and list and try to link all the outfit details in the description below. And I'm going to be using affiliate links. So again, if you do choose to purchase something, I do get a really small cut of it. It doesn't add anything to the price, but I like to be open with you guys about that. It's a nice way to help out the channel if you were gonna buy one of these things anyways. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I would like to hear your guys' uh, like kind of formula for creating a springtime outfit. Maybe I overlooked something or maybe I oversimplified it. Um, but just let me know down in the comments below. I try and reply to everyone. Uh, but uh, anyways, guys, I hope you have a good one. So see ya. Enjoy springtime. Get the, get the spring fits off, you know. Shed that seasonal depression, you know. Gone. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I'll see ya.